Good morning, honky cats. There's an interesting thing going on. I'm getting blowed backwards. There's a gradient. I fixed the punch through it, and I'll be able to penetrate. Okay, there's a little bit of turbulence. If you ever catch yourself being parked or going backwards, just uh, get lower. And I should have got lower sooner, but I was messing with the GoPro. I still got a landing made. Okay, there's turbulence. Now I'm at zero ground speed. So there's kind of rough. It's calm down low coming out of the north, but up high it's east. There's Dave Ruff flying backwards right there. It's glassy smooth. It's just crazy strong up there. So as you can see, now I'm penetrating. Now I'm gonna stick my feet out in the frame here. I know the sun's shining right in the camera and that kind of sucks for video, but this is just to demonstrate a point. And I'm gonna push out over this swamp and then let the, let the wind blow me backwards. And I got some students down here. I'll show them a demo of what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. Give myself a little room on the field here. So I feel the turbulence and the turbulence is coming from the gradient. It's not a sharp gradient. It's not a dangerous one. I'm going to climb through it with like no hands just so you can see. I'm going to show you these wind socks down here. They're, they're just sort of bubbling around with the early morning thermals. Technically downwind right here. Alright, so now I'm going to start pushing to the east. Let's check the runway. No airplanes. And full power. And let's just climb. I'm going to go hands off. Full power climb. Let's just see what we get out of it. Up, 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 bumps, bumps, bumps. So I'm drifting to the south a bit. I'm still in some of this north. And as I go higher, it's going to stay bumpy. Now I've got no hands on the controls, so what you see is the turbulence that I'm getting from the wing. It's hard to tell unless you can see my feet. That'll tell you just how bumpy it is. I'm swinging back and forth, two feet, one foot. Oh, there's a big one. And as it picks up, oh, I'm shifting a bit. I'm trying to stay pointed to the east. Okay, there's raunchiness. There's some spots where it's worse than others. I'm still not touching the controls. I'm not trying to control it. I'm just trying to push into it. And in a minute, I'm going to get past it. And when I get past it, the air is going to go glass. And it's going to go strong. Okay, I feel it slowing down. I think I'm back at zero. Okay, and there's a big bump. Still no hands. Still just letting my body weight hang on the wing. Still full power. Okay, now I'm starting to drift backwards a little bit. And the turbulence just vanished. Notice my feet. And as I go higher, I'll get faster and faster backwards. Glassy smooth. But strong. It's probably blowing, what, 25, 30? Not too bad. Winds aloft are not always bad, even if they're stronger. I mean, I just punched through the whole gradient, drifting actually, return back to where I'm, I'm just weight shift turning on there. Oh, very nice. I'm looking for airplanes, because I'm going backwards, I need to look where I'm going, which is behind me. Kind of weird. I think we got a little north in it. I'm going to wait shift north a little. You know, as I go up, it actually slows down a little bit. Now I'm kind of parked. Again. I'm not going backwards. So the sharpest point is actually a bit lower. So I'm going to go down so that I can fly backwards a little further. Let's give that a shot. Weight shift only, still no controls. I know this is kind of an unconventional video. I just thought I'll turn the camera on. I don't always turn the camera on. I don't always intend on making a video, but every now and then you come across something interesting. When I looked at the weather report this morning, the winds aloft were showing 11 miles an hour at 2,000 feet. And that may be fine. But yeah, see, I'm drifting again. As I get lower, I'm hitting some stronger air. Huh. 
That's neat. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little gas just to level out here so that I can drift with it. I don't want to punch back down through it. Yeah, there's a bit of north in it. I'm gonna turn into it some. Yeah, happy good morning to you. Lovely video, huh? Well, I hope you like it for the lesson learned and not for the visual and especially not for the audio. It is what it is, man. I do what I do. I can't I do what I can. Okay, there's bumps. There's turbulence. So I'm going to go back up a bit. Okay, right there. Now I'm above it. It's smooth, but it's strong. And backwards I go. <laughs> and I'm hoping my students are watching this. A little bit of turbulence. I usually refer to this as a Ferris wheel. Where you go up and backwards and then down and forwards. And up and backwards and down and forwards. You know, depending on just how strong and what you got, that all makes a difference as to what you get out of it. But, but the turbulence we're feeling down low is not from the morning thermals. It's from the rotor of this, this strong wind going over this lower opposite wind. They're crisscrossing about 90 degrees. 28 universal. I'm probably flying at 25. I'm going backwards at about, I don't know, three, four. So it's probably almost 30 mile an hour wind right here where I'm at. All right, so if I want to go back down through it, I'm going to get my hands on the controls and pull big ears. You never want to pull big ears without your hands on the controls. Come on. Oh, grab the wrong line. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to weight shift. Because if I have a chute and a collapse, I want my hands on these controls. Going down into the trees here. That's funny. I meant to grab them earlier, but it turned me. Try to keep a little bit of altitude. So can you penetrate with big ears? Whoa, <laughs> taking collapses. Okay, I'll let go of them. That's just the rotor hitting me. I've got the field made now, so good. I'm penetrating back through the, the ugliness that was, okay, there's ugliness. <laughs> My hands are on the controls, but I'm not pulling anything. I'm just letting it bounce me around for y'all's benefit. And now I'm penetrating well. So if you go really high, you can penetrate. Really low, you can penetrate, and it's rough. But right up there in the shit zone is 30 miles an hour so well above the shit zone and then when you get really really low it smooths out again probably down here just you know 20 30 feet off the ground of course we're in the danger zone but i don't think we're getting all the road well, i still feel a little something i could be feeling morning thermals i don't know yeah sometimes weather throws your forecast like if you don't trust them you know, if you don't trust the forecast, you'd be okay probably. Mild turbulence. You gotta love it. You don't have to love it. I love it. All right, I'm not sure where this video's going. I just wanted to show you that. I think, uh, I don't know, it's a little early to be all talky-talky. My coffee ain't even soaked in completely yet. It seems to be turbulent everywhere down low. It was smoother lower this morning. It wasn't very high at all. I started getting some bumps though. Check my runway again. There was a lot of air traffic yesterday at Spring Hill. We had airplanes coming all in and out. More than I've seen in a while. But we were all talking on the radio. It was all good. So I'm curious to go look at the other forecast models. I just looked at one. Oh, I looked at two. Both of them didn't show anything funky. I might go check out Wendy or something. I want to position myself on the other side of the field. But instead of turning into the runway, I'm going to turn back so that I don't cross it and check for air traffic again. And I can see that I'm clear. Alright, I've already checked the other way, so now I can turn across the road. I mean, cross the active. That's what they call the runway, the active. You know, because it's an active runway and all. It went from 2 to 30 and 1,000 feet. That's what I just flew through, probably what I'm in right now. That's what we're dealing with here. 
they're not always dangerous they're not always strong but if you do find yourself going through a gradient i've said it a few times i think you always want to punch into it like i wouldn't want to turn and go downwind into it because if that rotor came over and hit the top of my wing it could cause a big shoot a collapse up oh, morning buzzard he's flapping uh -huh. sorry buddy oh now we're showing east on those the trees are moving a little bit over here maybe there's a bit of lift oh there's a bit of lift yeah sun shining baby sun shining ah uh, just burning my uh portion of morning uh, yeah, i almost said half gas mixed gas Mo gas, paramotor gas. I love this tree line. This tree line is always a good producer. It's got a good angle. Oh, there it is. <laughs> always goes up right there. Little funky fell on the jukebox. Love it. On down. Hey, I missed the GoPro. I don't know how, but I did. Interesting. How do you take this? Ah, oh, I don't know which helmet I got on. <laughs> and I'm wearing gloves. Morning wind gradients with Kalo. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you stay safe out there. Much love, everybody. Kyle out.